Peter. I'm just kind of reflecting on the whole of this year and kind of the body of work that the team put in from March until the end of the year. I feel like this team kind of met, exceeded, underperformed expectations for you in the long run. I think the competitor in myself and all the players would say that um, it, it, it wasn't a what I would define as a successful season. Like, because because you at the end you're you're always trying to win, you know, a trophy. You're trying to win MLS Cup. I mean, that's what every single team in the league is is that's their attempt. That's their that's their. You know, if you will, that's our goal to start the season, um, and we didn't we didn't do that. Um, but I'm not going to let that overshadow um, a number of things, and that would be um, something that really resonates with me. And look, I, I'm sure I have different thoughts in another week, you know. But in, in a short period of time since the season has ended, um, and it's very short for me because I'm still dealing with things from. The game that occurred. Um, I would say that one of the big things that resonates with me is culture. I think that you don't um, you don't have the kind of uh, I don't know what you want to call it if you want to call it turnaround or what have you. You don't have it um, in the way that we did, uh, in the way that we performed. You know, from whatever that date is, May first on, whatever. You, you don't have that if. if you don't have that kind of turnaround. You don't have that kind of an, uh, um, commitment from the players um, if you don't have a strong culture. And I've always, uh, from the first day that I took over the team, um, I, I, I laid out what the four pillars of our culture are. Um, and we have made all of our decisions based on those four and so it was incredibly impressive for me to watch and see how the guys stayed committed over that time and, and, and were able to uh, dig down deep and stay focused on what the, you know, what the mission was when nobody believed, nobody believed that it could be possible. Um, the disappointment is, is, that, uh, is that they they weren't given a fair opportunity at the end of it. That, that's, that's the disappointment. Um, not accomplishing your goal, it happens. Um, uh, that, that's, what, that's what can motivate you, that's what can make you stronger, that brings you back. Um, all those things. But when you don't have a fair opportunity at it, and that's, that's the reason why you have uh, come short on your goal, it's, it's a really, really hard thing to swallow. And, and that's probably the thing that I'm most uh, disappointed in for the players because of that. I was witness to it, right, every day. The, the commitment, the, 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 the sacrifice, the fight, the belief, the non-belief at times, the, you know, the meetings, the, 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 the training sessions, um, the individuals, the, the, the teams. And listen, there's, a, there's, a, there's guys that, again, they're all individuals, right? They're on a team, but there's guys that, there's guys that think that they should have started. There's guys that think they should have played more. There's guys that you know think they got a raw deal. I I, I, I get that. I, I played on teams for 15 years and for coaches, and that was in my professional life. Not to you know not to mention all the other years in college and everywhere else. And and so I understand the dynamics within within the group and how they think and all those things. But still to be able to with all that going on still on top of it having bad results. And, and not feeling good about yourself and still being able to achieve what we did, it, it says a lot about the culture of this club. And that's why, that's why I, 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 I use that as, as such a, a pivotal piece of who we are. Are you you're talking uh, in the moment that you feel like, you know, it's out of your team's hands here? You're talking about the penalty specifically in the, in the call that happened there again in Houston? Yeah, yeah. And, have you had any conversations with the league and, or the referee association about that call and what went on after a while? So, so I, I have I have not. I can tell you that ownership has, and I know, you know, from them what transpired. And, and I'm happy to say that 
first and foremost, I, I, I want to state this, and that is that um, uh, this is not to take anything away from Houston. Uh, I, I congratulate them. I wish them the best of luck as they move forward. Um, this has nothing to do with them. They, they're, a, they're a good team, and, and, and they worked very hard throughout the course of the season as well. I know um, not just them, but what the 28 other teams go through to get to this point and what it means for them. And so this is not trying to take any way from, thing away from them. Um, I also will say is that, is that I don't believe this is the league's fault. Um, I just don't. I don't think it's MLS's fault. I think MLS wants uh, to have you know a, a pure competition. I think they 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 have invested with ownership an amazing an amazing amount of money to make sure that situations like this don't occur. Right. And so that's why that's why we have VAR. And so when you, you know, look, I, I, I've seen, I've seen the form of VAR uh, in the NFL, right, over the years. And I've always been incredibly impressed with the consistency. I know that, um, I know that uh, uh, they made mistakes over the years, but not to the level and the significance when you apply it to the kind of games that where we, I mean, if you just take us in the last three years, we've had two season decision day in 2021, the handball, and you have this in the semifinal of the playoffs on the, the Western Conference, where we have two situations where, and I'm the first one to admit, I understand that a referee sometimes cannot see a play in its live moment. I get it. I mean, shoot, a player could run in front of you. There's so many things that could happen to the referee in that situation. That is why there's now VAR. And there's so many different ways that you could, that are very specific, that, that could be looked at, right? You're, you're talking about, I don't care what your process is. Um, because process doesn't mean anything to me. The only thing that should be the objective is to get the play or the call right. When you have VAR at your disposal, the person that should be making the final decision when it comes to something that is even remotely questionable, it should go to the center referee. Always. Always. There should never be any gray area there. It should go to the center referee. I know, even through our players, that the center ref said that hit his chest. I go again, I, I accept that because it's a live situation. I can accept that. But there's a person that's watching the replays time and time again, and they get different angles. And that's not valid. That's not a valid response because the truth is it actually hit the players arm, whatever you want to say, which that's all part of, in, in, in the whole, you know, IFAB and all that, that's all, it's all one. So already, if you go to clear and obvious, well, clear and obvious from the referee is now wrong. So clear and obvious, it did hit his hand, so it should be checked. It's not. You can also then take another step. When there's a goal scoring opportunity, and the goal is now affected by the hand, like the ball is going into the net, which everybody knows it's going into the net, but now it's stopped by the hand, immediately it's penalty, red card, immediately. The fact that that's wrong, my question then becomes, it becomes two things. One is, you gotta change the, you gotta change the process if you don't believe the process is that, that the center ref, because if I'm the center ref, I'll say it this way, if I'm a referee and I'm a center ref, I'm making the decisions so that at the end of the game, at least I'm standing behind the decisions that I made. Now, I might be wrong, but at least they're on me. But now, he's associated to the decisions made by somebody who is watching TV. It didn't give me a chance to go watch the replay. Again, I saw it live. I want that decision. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is that how, how is it that you can have that big of a miss in such a significant game? It's, in, in, again,
again, you asked me a question earlier around what the guys went through and all those other things. I stack all that up against the fact that you're telling me that you can't send the center referee to make a decision and, and, and him sit there and say, I, I don't think it's a, a penalty, I don't think it's a red card, whatever, whatever he decides at that point. But he's not making the decision. And I believe that's a way out for the referee. It's a way out. Because if the person doesn't tell me to look at it, and I don't look at it, then everybody's, they're going to blame the VAR person, not me, but the VAR. But the, but the center ref is the one who's on the field, the one is the one who's on, on, on TV, is on everything. Nobody knows who's in, in the, I mean, you know, but how much research is being done around that. And my point is, is that you can't miss that. You, you can't miss that. Not, not, with, not with VAR. Not with the investment of money. Because guess what? I've been in those games when we didn't have VAR, and that happened. So, so the same thing is happening with, with VAR. And as I said, two out of the last three years, our season has been dramatically affected by decisions by not going, not going to the camera, not going, not the center ref walking over and looking at it and making his own decision. I, I think that's unacceptable. That, that's where my issue is. And, and now I have to tell, I have to tell my team, hey, I'm sorry that this happened to you, after everything that you fought for, you now get, it's, it's not that, I'm not, I'm not saying also that we would have won the game, we just were not given the opportunity that we should have been afforded, and that was taken away from us. And, and I, and I'm, I personally, am, I've been, see there's a difference with me and, and a lot of other guys, is that I've been at the same place for a long time. I've been doing this job in regards to coaching the team for 15 years. And I truly do believe that we have lost out on a lot of other hardware because of the decisions that have been made in very significant games. Um, and, I, and I gotta tell you, I'm, 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 I'm more than frustrated as the coach, and I'm more than disappointed when it comes to the players, the fans, because they're, they're dealing with it as well. And then, you, and then you have, and you have our ownership, who, you know, the, the time and effort and the financial commitment they make, and then, you know, you, we can't get that right. That that's that's amateur. It's amateur, and it's, it, it has to change. And it's not MLS. Pro pro has to pro has to figure it out for themselves because it's you can't you can't blame IFAB. You can't blame all these. It's it's pro. They they have to they have to figure this out. Same thing happened in Cincinnati. You know, I, I saw this thing about it was three inches. Someone did a calculation and figured it all out, and blah, 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 and they said it's three inches. He, it doesn't matter, like, three inches is the same if I hit a shot and hit the crossbar. Well, yeah, three inches lower, I'd probably score. Well, I didn't. It, but it's three inches. It, it's the difference between something. And, and unfortunately, teams are out because of, of, of the decisions that, again, in that game, the referee didn't get a chance to go look at it. Center ref did not get a chance to go and review it. And I have, I have a big problem with that. So Peter, there's a, there's a couple of... Sorry, but all the questions won't be answered that long. <laughs> <laughs> um, th there's a couple of different things that I feel like come into play that are subjective in the terminology, at least that we're taught to talk about these things. You, you reference clear and obvious. There's not a black and white definition of that. I, now, we're not aware, like you are now, of what the referee had said on the, on the field. But we saw this in the Champions League game yesterday where they're, they're, they're mad. Oh, at I, so, sorry, I just yeah. interrupt you on yeah. something. That, but you don't even have to listen to it. Like, if the referee doesn't go over, if the center referee doesn't go over and look at the monitor, then that center referee is not being told right. that it's, that, that it should be looked at. I mean, that's, right. that's not, like, you don't need me to tell you that. That's, I'm saying, and, and the other point is, is that, when you're at home, when you're at home watching the game and the replays are happening, you're making your decision within 10 seconds. I, what, that it's a, it's, a, it's a handball and it's a red card. Like, that's what you're making your decision on. Now, I'm sure there's just some people say, ah, oh, it's, not, it's not a handball. But I'm here to tell you, it is based on, the other, the other is, is that you're standing on the goal line the ball's going into the back of the net, and the ball is stopped by that by the hand. It's 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 a penalty red card. It, it's that simple. 
And what we want to do is we want to make it to all these other things. But the reality is that's what it is. It's just like, look, if the guy's offside, it's offside. Right. Right? The, the difference is with handball, at least for me, whatever they try to, they, every year it seems like they adjust some of the criteria for a handball and they take us through the scenarios of, of natural position and the terminology you're supposed to use. And, and I, I suppose my assumption was the argument would be his arm's down by his side. Even if it's not in his body, it's down by his side, natural position. Um, but, but that's not accurate though, okay. right? It's not accurate because what happens is, is that he first comes in for the impact and his hand actually is this way. And when the shot is taken, he opens up his hands and his arm goes out and you actually see daylight between his body and his arm. It, it's, when you see that view behind the goal, I mean, I, again, if we could sit here and talk about each one of these things, but that's, that's where I get to it. We could, but also what we're doing is talk, the, 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 the accuracy of it is a simple thing. And that is, I go again, give it to the center referee, let the center ref go over and make his or her decision based on what they see. You can't, you can't have it both ways. You can't say, hey, it hit his chest. And then the other person says, well, you know, it's hit his arm, but my point is, is that if you say it hit his chest, you already are clear and obvious that you're wrong. So you should go and look at it. You should go look at it. Do you think they should release audio of those conversations like they yes. have in other leagues? Yes, I do. I do. See, that, that's, that's the other thing for me is that How come, the, how come the players and the coaches, how come, how come, or when our fans go to an opposing team's uh, venue, how come we don't file a complaint because somebody was saying some mean things to us? Or, or criticizing us? How come we don't do that? How come? Because it's, 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 it's what, it, it's supposedly what the business that we're in. It's, it's okay to do that. Well, if the pressure is put on a player, if the pressure is put on coaches, if the pressure is put on, well, the pressure is on everybody to, to perform. A player, a player misses a, a wide open goal. Everybody's crushing the guy on social media. I'm not, I'm not saying that you should be able to do that. What I'm saying is that you should be in a position where the stuff should be transparent. Like why didn't why didn't you go over to the monitor? Like the, that should that should be a that should be a press conference for the for the referee crew. Absolutely, why not? Why why would, why is that such a bad thing? I, I don't get that. I mean, I get crushed every single decision I make. Oh, so I'm 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 the one guy or. The the twenty or twenty nine coaches in the league they're the they're the only ones that are that are uh, immune to criticism. No, it bothers us. Everybody should be accountable for what they do. And I'm not I'm not suggesting. Look, I don't I don't think I don't, like I don't think that like uh, all of a sudden it should be this open season to go crush everybody. That's not what it's not what I'm suggesting. What I'm suggesting is is that I think there should be an openness to understanding. Hey. You guys ask me, how come you made that sub? Why didn't you start this guy? Well, why did you think, hey, you made this call. Why, how did, why did you make that call? Hey, why didn't you make that call? Why, why would that be so bad? I, I, I can't understand that. You said you haven't heard from the league or pro. Have I, I haven't. My own ownership has. What have they heard? That, 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 it, that it was a mistake. That it was a, it was a mistake. It should have been a penalty red card. I, I was told that they sent the clip around to a bunch of different leagues and people around the world that they, you know, respect or whatever. And everybody except for uh, uh, one person came back and said, penalty red card. And, and the person who, this is a person from Pro, and that person then responded and said, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know how they came back with that difference of opinion because everybody sees it as, and, and that's the person at Pro saying that. Meaning that it's a red card penalty. They agree. Is there something that you or ownership can initiate in the offseason to help Pro become more effective on that? Yeah, I can. 
It's, it's a really simple thing. I don't care what the process is, just get the call right. Just do whatever you have to do to make sure the call's right. Because it's important to the, to, the, to the competition, it's important to the fan base, it's important to the individual, to the players, to, to, the, to the staffs, to the clubs. It, it's important to the game. It, you, your objective should be to get the play right. I don't care if you have to take another 30 seconds, another minute, I don't care what have you. I, if you guys recall, we played at home against St. Louis. I think there was, I don't know, you have to refresh my memory, but somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes of extra time, right? Why was that? Because they took extra time in, in different things they looked at, and, and also a couple injuries here and there. What, what, did that change? Did, they went ahead and did the 10 to 15 minutes. Doing an extra minute and looking to make sure that that is where it's supposed to be and what it's supposed to be, that's what should have been done. I know sometimes criticism will be that uh, the team should have played better than a ref could have affected it, but in a league where parity is is prized, that, that that's such a yeah, that's such a that's such a uh, 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 it's such a weak. It's such a I don't mean this towards you, but people want to say that that's a that's a weak question because we all have a job to perform on the field. There are significant moments in every sport that can change the outcome of the game. I am not asking for something to be manufactured. I'm not asking for something, like I'm not asking for somebody to look for something that wasn't there. I'm just asking for what happened to be dealt with in the appropriate way and for the clear and obvious answer to come out. I want, I want it to be right. Because when the game's done, then I want to be able to answer the question, hey, we weren't good enough today. The other team was better. The other team did this, this, and this against us. If you look at the game, and again, all due respect to them, we had the better of the chances in the game. I don't know if you know, but there's a, there's a handball in the second half as well on Willie Agata. But we're not even talking about that one because if you can't deal with the first one, you're not dealing with the second one. Because that, that just as easily could have been a handball as well. Because the hand comes across the body, the ball gets completely impeded by, by, going, into, by going to the goal on, on a shot on goal. It's completely impeded. But, it doesn't, but again, it, it's not even in the conversation. And what I'm also saddened about is that we've gotten to a place where everybody just expects this. Well, that's wrong. We, if, we, if we're getting to that place, that's not good. That has to change. It has to change quickly.